What's up, people? Hotel Jesus. We are live. We are live in vivo. In vivo, yo, in vivo. What up, chat? Welcome, 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 welcome. Shout out to everybody tuning in today. I appreciate you. Hotel to the family. Hotel. Uh, let's let's go straight into paying the bills. Hotep Nation Conference. Hotep Con 2022. Tickets on sale right now. Hotepnation.com. Go get your tickets. Come hang with us. Come eat with us. We got all inclusive tickets available right now for less than a thousand dollars. Come out. Includes ho that includes hotel as well. Three night hotel stay at the luxurious Ahern Hotel. Food is taken care of. You got you don't gotta worry about that. Come hang out. We got a private dinner. I'm working on special guests right now. Got one already locked in. You're gonna you're gonna love this announcement when you find out who I got coming. Lock in, get tickets, come hang out with us. I'd love to see you there. I'd love to shake hands with you, meet you, exchange ideas. A meeting of the minds of sorts. A meeting of the minds of sorts. Also, this month, my channel is sponsored by Syscoin. Syscoin is the best of Bitcoin and Ethereum, the security of Bitcoin with the flexibility of Ethereum. If you're a developer, blockchain developer, you're looking for a nice piece of technology to uh, enable you to create some great things, check out Syscoin. Shout out to the Syscoin team. Uh, we'll be bringing um, some of their people back on the channel in the near future. Today, we're talking about hoaxes. Today we are talking about hoaxes. There's a lot of hoaxes going around. Uh, let's pull this one up on the screen. The one I was, I was, uh, I tweeted about it earlier. I'm gonna pull that up on your screen in just a moment. I just want to retweet it. Let's go here. Hold on, let me pull this out. Okay. All right, you should see it on your screen now. Is Andy No? Andy No. Uh, I believe Tim Pool, according to our producer, Tim Pool also reported on this hoax. Uh, one thing we have to keep in mind: this is a classic Bolshevik hoax. You see, when you start dealing with Bolsheviks, um, anything goes, anything goes when you're dealing with Bolsheviks, anything goes. If you're not one of them, that's your, that's pretty much your ass. Um, they don't play by rules. They don't play by any, any set of rules. Uh, anything goes. And that includes lying. Um, for example, I'll uh, I'll pull somebody up on the screen here in just a moment, <clears throat> and you tell me if you recognize this face. If you if you recognize this face on your screen, I want you to tell me. But the one in the chat that you do recognize this face. Anybody recognize this individual right here? That's Jesse Smoulye. It's Jesse Smoulye. If you know Jesse Smoulye, press one in the chat. This is classic liberal Bolshevik hoaxing. Bolshevik hoaxing at its finest. It's proven in court. It's proven in court. This is not speculation. This is not defamation. This is proven in court. He was sentenced over this. Our wonderful justice system. So we're familiar with a recent example of Bolshevik tactics, right? So it says here from Andy No, it says this thread from a man who claims, um, hold on one second. Let me just make sure. I just wanted to see the ones in the chat. See, we live. It's so lit. Exactly. 
exactly. Um, this thread from a man who claims, uh, I think this is Governor Greg Abbott, Texas, sent a representative to offer money to pose with the governor for Uvalde. Has gone ultra viral with the left, but I looked into who is really behind the account, and he puts the individual's name here, uh, who says he's from Spokane, and he continues here, he says Jason R. whatever, uh, has claimed on Twitter to be a 9-11 responder, Purple Heart recipient, and to have had another nephew that was killed. No one with his name has received a purple heart. He is an anti-Trump activist who has boasted about shooting at cars with Trump flags. Many left-wing verified accounts have amplified the claims and made it go viral with no independent scrutiny. It conforms to their bias. So that's good enough to be true. That's fact. An editor at the Austin Chronicle was among them. So they got somebody local on the ground. Multiple Pulitzer winning LA Times columnist Pat Morrison helped amplify the claims. Uh, and then some more Keith Oberman. So he's, I guess he's documenting here. Uh, all the journalists and blue check variety individuals who are amplifying this hoax. So let's take a look at the hoax itself and see. Okay, so it says here you've all day. So this is the this is the fake bot account. Now I want somebody to take a look at this account here. I want somebody to take a look at the profile picture of this account and tell me this does not fall in line with what I deem to be uh uh, uh, an automaton, um, very much a rudimentary computer, a bot. Now bots can come in human form or non-human form. Some people walk around are bots. They call them MPC NPCs. But do you see something interesting about this profile picture that I've been warning people about for a long time? Favorite sports team in the bio i always talk about this favorite sports and you see the favorite sports team it's like okay he's got a guy was this from the yankees or something like that red flag it's a red flag right there that's your first red flag favorite sports team no man should have a favorite sports team in his bio it just shouldn't happen unless that's your brand like shout out to wasted talent and raider nation unless it's like that no um just not allowed. Uh, so it says here, this account tweets, uh, we were finally able to see my living nephew's body to confirm identity, shot in the face. Uh, while leaving to return home, we were followed by what was assumed to be media. We do not wish to speak during this time. So, so they told him that he didn't want to speak four minutes after returning home a knock at the door. It's representative for Gr governor Greg Abbott. He informed us he's willing to pay us to stand with the governor and say, we don't need stronger gun laws to which almost got this clown hurt. He was asked to leave and said that if we speak about this conversation, we'll be facing charges and possibly worse. Uh, we responded with F you try me and find out. Then we were told people get hurt and disappear all the time. F Greg, and, uh, Greg Abbott and this harassment while we mourn. So, oh, uh, classic. Uh, and then here's Yaquin Castro, blue check. Please DM me if I can be helpful. This thing's got 31,000 retweets. We're going to talk about this number in a, in a moment. 31,000. Please DM me if I can be helpful. He says. So here we have uh, strong accusations against Governor Greg Abbott and not a lot of uh, evidence. But Bolsheviks don't need evidence. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Bolsheviks do not need evidence. Shout out to my super chat. I appreciate you. We're going to get right to y'all. Bolsheviks don't need evidence. Does it fit the narrative? They run it with it. If it fits the narrative, they're going to run with it. So 
it goes back to this old adage. We all know it. A lie will travel halfway around the earth before the truth can put its shoes on. Before the truth can put its shoes on. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means a lie is a virus. Write this down. I hope you're taking notes. A lie is a virus. The truth doesn't go viral. The truth does not go viral. The lie does. The lie goes viral. That means that the lie is the virus. That's what that means. The lie is the virus. It will infect. It could cause abnormal behavior amongst individuals. It could affect your health. The lie, the lie will affect your health. We just dealt with a lie, a, a global lie. <laughs> and it's affecting people's health. We see people falling out because of cardiac issues. A lie is like a virus. So when they want to say, hey, look, check out this virus. The lie is the virus. <laughs> The lie is a virus and it affects your mind first and foremost. And that's, that's the thing you want to infect. In, in fact, as a parasite, what you would want to do is control the mind of whatever uh, organism you're hijacking. As a parasite, you would want to control the mind of whatever organism it is that you're leeching off of. the organism that you're leeching off of. Um, so the parasitic, demonic, satanic <laughs> people who some call the elite and I call the ruling class. That's, that's the term I think best describes them uh, with all due respect and no play of hating. Um, they, yeah, I lost my train of thought. Then I caught it and I lost it again. Oh yes. The demonic satanic people, the, the ruling class. Yes, yes, yes. So this ruling class is very parasitic. It doesn't, it doesn't seek to be independent. It seeks to create dependence and then it becomes dependent upon people. It requires other individuals for it to thrive. And that's how you see it suckling on the blood of Americans. This is the Bolshevik parasite we're talking about here. Bolshevik parasite. And the Bolshevik parasite number one weapon is a lie. It's the number one weapon they have is a lie. And a lie is, as we already covered, a damn virus. Codependent is F. Correct. Correct. Absolutely correct. So. I remember one time I was on the Internet and uh the internets were saying that ASAP Rocky cheated on Rihanna and Rihanna's pregnant right now, or maybe she just had the baby, but at the time she was pregnant. And the first thing I looked at it, I said, I don't believe it. 
that doesn't that doesn't even that doesn't it doesn't compute it doesn't compute um, no we're gonna need more evidence where is this evidence so the first rule when we're dealing with this is how not to get caught by the hoax in order to not get caught by the hoax you got to follow these rules and i'm gonna lay the rules out for you as soon as you hear the story you have to assume that it's false people do the opposite okay now the funny thing is when we start dealing with lies what the bolshevik tactic with a lie is is they'll have you trying to prove that the lie is a lie when really you need to have them prove that the lie is the truth and that can't be done because a lie can't be a truth a lie is a lie that's where you you that's that's where the tactics get messed up so when we see an event whatever the event is treadstone glowing whatever whatever the event is people run around like the other day somebody said in the chat hey can you give us some details on the on the on the on the texas thing da 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 and I got to make this other point too. It's like, for what? For what? What are these details that you're looking for? These details that are lies? These details that you, that, that don't paint the full picture? So if I come on here and I tell you all the numerology behind the event and this person did this and that person did that, what changes? What changes? In your mind, either you believed it was real or you didn't. Me digging up all the numerology and astrology and Illuminati people behind the event ain't going to change anybody's mind. Either you know some shit, some bullshit or it's not. So what they'll have you do, they'll trick you into a conversation where you're trying to prove that the event did not happen or the event happened in a certain, you know, order uh, of events. Instead of saying, no, you tell me why this isn't a lie. Where's your proof that this, that this thing happened? And they won't be able to produce any, but the onus is on you to say this story that came out is true. So if you say, oh, Rihanna, you know, um, ASAP Rocky cheated on Rihanna. It's like, all right, where's the proof? Did Rihanna say it? Did ASAP Rocky say it? All right, then what, what are we talking about here? Right? So the first thing we have to do is assume all initial reports are false. Now, when we're dealing with something like Uvalde or Uvalde, remember a lie will travel halfway around the globe before the truth can get the shoes on. So what does that mean? That means that the details at the genesis of the event, you might as well just take those of whatever event it is, whether it's Uvalde, to say that the people reporting on it don't know anything. Everything they say is going to just be pure garbage. Let's just, just assume that everything that happens day one is garbage. Day two is filtering out yesterday's garbage. Oh, well, this was wrong, but this is right. And this is the number and that's the number. And this is, that's day two. That's why when these things happen, I usually don't say nothing. Cause I'm like, where's the tape? Show me the tape. Epstein was in jail. Next minute. We don't know what the hell happened. They say he died. Show me the tape. Oh, they ain't got no tape. Somebody cut the tape. Who is this guy? El Chapo. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. So the, 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 the lie is going to be up front and the truth is going to be backloaded. So you might not get the truth about an event for years, for years, potentially. But remember while the lie is all out there, the, the truth is just putting his shoes on. So it's going to come eventually. Eventually, the truth is going to rise to the top. And people are like, oh, well, here's the truth. 
But it, by then it's too late. And that's what the Bolsheviks understand. That by the time, going back to this hoax that we saw with Andy No, by the time people realize that this, and I'll show you, he, he's got some blue checks in here corroborating, right? Look at all these blue checks. Read this, Governor Greg Abbott is over, right? Hyper, hyperbole is very important in these circles. They're tagging Greg Abbott. These are all, these are all, all verified individuals, right? This is Andy No reporting on this. Keep over, man, right? Bolshevik tactics. Bolshevik tactics. It's not about right or wrong. It's about the result. It's not about right and wrong, it's about the result. Like Saul Alinsky said, the ends justify the means. Saul Alinsky would tell you the ends justify the means. That's how these people think. So when this hoax account does its thing and everybody hops on it, by the time you figure out that this thing is wrong, the job's done already. It's already sown division all around the world. The virus has already infected people's minds. It's you've already you can't uninfect yourself with the virus. Either you was infected or you wasn't. Once you infected, you've been infected. That's just is what it is. So once the lie goes out that everyone's affected that believed the lie, they were infected. So now you need medicine, right? A remedy of some sort to alleviate you of this, of this parasite, right? Some people call it the red pill. But the job is already done. You already believed it. And the effects of your belief in that lie reverberated throughout your body, your aura, affected others so you see it was 30 30 something thousand retweets on that tweet 30 thousand something retweets on that so how many other people have run with this and said this thing about governor greg abbott right so by the time it comes out let's say a million people it's way more than a million but let's say a million people were affected with this virus this lie and the truth comes out. How many people will get the truth? Do you think these people are going to go and retract their statements and say, wait, we were wrong about this? Absolutely not. It's the Bolsheviks. Absolutely not. They're not going to retract their statement. They're going to delete their tweet and move on like nothing ever happened. And 80% of the people, whatever it is, will be infected by the virus. 20% will be remedied. That's how both of us operate. So rule number one, assume all initial reports are false. Rule number two, a lie will travel halfway around the world while the truth is putting your shoes on. And last, you don't have to prove that the hoax is false. The, the hoax has to prove that the hoax is true. The hoax has to prove that the hoax is true. It's that simple. It's that simple. Um, Jabari Judy said, did you see that terrible lie tweet by the senior editor of Washington Post? They push an agenda hard body. No, send me the tweet. I'll throw it up on the screen. Shout out to the chat. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon, um, Montoya. Um, I'm just catching up on the chat here. Uh, I'm talking to BitBoy. 9 p.m. Tune in. If you want to learn something about crypto and Bitcoin, I'm talking to BitBoy. BitBoy tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern. That's like, like three hours. Um, so come come check us out. Uh, BitBoy. Great, great interview we got lined up for y'all. That's going to be very entertaining, very funny. 
Um, we're gonna talk about a lot. We're gonna talk about everything. We're gonna talk about America. We're gonna talk about money. We're gonna talk about Biden. We're gonna talk about inflation. We're gonna talk about food shortages. Um, yeah, it's gonna be wild. So tune in. 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Hotep Con 2022. Get your tickets, hotepnation.com. Make sure you go get your tickets, hotepnation.com. Five course, five course chef tasting. We got a celebrity chef at the Ahern Hotel. Shout out to Chef Mark. Hotep. I want to see you there. I want to hang out with you. Early bird prices are expiring soon. So go get your tickets. While we still have the prices, I'm going to reset the timer. I'm going to get you to the next Hotel has been told you show with those early bird prices. Then we're going to regular prices. So I hope to see you there. Natasha Kayleen, did you get your ticket? I haven't seen you get your ticket yet. Natasha Kayleen, make sure you get your ticket. I want to see you uh, out there. I know Chad's going to be there. I know Jabari's going to be there. It's going to be lit. I want the whole family there, yo. We're going to have a lot of fun. Shooting guns with... We're gonna shoot guns with Cannon Hotel. That's gonna be dope. Um, he said, I remember my boy caught a great charge. Front page of Star Legend when the person admitted they were lying. The correction was on page 17 three months later. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Shout out to Jabari. That's how they do. That's how Bolsheviks move. That's how Bolsheviks move. Bolsheviks do not play by any set of rules they operate off of mind control it's a parasitic energy and they infect you with lies propaganda man another thing you gotta understand about Marxists are they are they are prone to violence they're not tough but they are in groups they're very tough and they are prone to be violent they're known to cause chaos the Bolsheviks are known to cause chaos. So you have to be very careful. Uh, they operate off of um, uh, a very fascist um, sociological I uh, uh, ideology. I would say fascism is almost their ideology. Oh, it's disgusting. Um, but yes, they are, they are prone to violence. So any individual who is prone to unprovoked violence. So for example, when I say provoke violence, let's say you and your, 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 your uh, homies organized and you had your, you know, pro gun meeting, right? Well, let's say you're at church. Let's say you're at church. You got the, the handmade girls ran down and disrupted mass amongst the, the Hispanic community. They don't care. They will disrupt your meetings. It will disrupt your religion. They have no respect. These people do not play by any type of rules. Um, what else? Um, if you're organizing, let's say you had a two way meeting, they will come disrupt that. You having coffee with your friends, they will come disrupt that. We saw that all throughout the the flaming summer of George Floyd. Bolsheviks are prone to violence, unprovoked prone to violence. Um, but they're 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 parasitic, which means they require somebody else to actually have an issue so they can exploit said issue. But when it comes to things like these hoax, like this hoax here. And, and you want to know how to spot one. It's not really about wanting to know how to spot one. It's more or less about how are they going to convince me that this report is true? I'm not looking up to see if this thing is true or not. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. When I see something that glows, an event that glows, I just know I just know it glows. I just know it glows. Maybe because I've done enough studies over the years to see the patterns. So I don't dig into all the details of the event. This person did it. The only thing I do want to see is the tape. Show me the tape. 
so I could look with my own damn eyes. Show me the tape. And even I, and, and in those circumstances, I still don't even trust my eyes. Because <laughs> you'd be surprised what they could do with videotapes these days. So, um, but I want to, that's, the, that's, that's it. If you're not going to show me the tape at the incident, I, I really don't want to hear about the report. Show me the tape. Show me how he got in the building. They said it was a school and one door was open. No, show me how he got in the building. Show He said he engaged somebody at the school. Show me who they engaged. Show me that. Um, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll see some tapes. But I'm not going to look up all the little different conspiracies because I know it glows. Now, that's not to say that you shouldn't. Maybe you should. I was in a phase in my life where I looked it up. And maybe you're at the phase in your life where you need to look this stuff up so you can see the patterns and you can get familiar with, I would never deter that. I would never say somebody shouldn't do that. And I, I'll never say somebody shouldn't produce a broadcast spelling out the details of these events in a very um, conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theory uh, style. I would never say, absolutely, please do. Please do. What I'm saying is me personally, I done seen enough patterns to know when something glowing, so I'm not looking it up. I need somebody to show me that it was real. I'm not doing that no more. Nope, you're not gonna have me running around. Cause they, one week is Buffalo, so they got you investigating Buffalo. And then the next week is is Yuba Dog. Now you investigating this one. They got you just going all over the place. No, I'm gonna stay here. And when y'all wanna come with some truths, you could present those. But every time you talk, all I'm seeing is lies. So I'm just focused on what it is that I'm doing. I'm not focused on what they're doing, their little game and whatever, whatever, um, because it's time to organize. It's time to organize. It's just that simple. Chad says, Sarlinski, the real action is in the enemy's reaction. You heard that? The real action is in the enemy's reaction. How many times have we had to tell y'all that? The enemy properly goaded and guided in his reaction will be your major strength. See, this is the rules that they play by. Number three, tactics require you move with the action. Your reaction will be, will be the Democrats' greatest strength. That's why I don't react. I see stuff happen. They be putting, you know, um, weirdos on the covers of magazines. I see it on my phone because y'all somebody will tweet it. You know, I'll see it on my phone. Oh, look, they put this weirdo on the magazine. I look and I see this shit and I keep on scrolling. Next. Remember the event quadrant. This is in my reality. This is not in my reality. This is reality. This is not reality. It's the four ways you got to divide these events up. So when I'm looking at it, I'm like, is this part of my reality? Nope. Next. Just remove it. I just remove it from my reality. It's not in my reality. It can come back into my reality at some point. But for right now, I'm not going to feed it energy. Because that's what they want. They're depending on your energy so they can go, aha, look. He's phobic. Look at him. He's phobic. That's what they want. Again, the reaction is their strength. So when I see the incidents, I just shy away. I just shy away. I don't pay attention to it. Correct. I don't pay attention to it. And I see a lot of that too. You know, I know Biden is, is there's some, something wrong, uh, but I'm not going to hop on every moment he does something goofy. It's too low hanging fruit for me. Um, and there's more things. And, and there's, see, that's the, that's the part which just lets me know is like they, they got the, the ruling class has to be trolling right now. They got to be trolling. They're probably sitting back laughing like, look at the president we gave them. <laughs> they probably be laughing. And they gave us Trump just so they could take it, just so they could uh, 
to take away our freedom. They gave us Trump to take away our freedom because they said, look, we're going to put Trump in there. We're going to make him look like the bad guy. And then we're going to take control because we've created this great monster on the other side of the political aisle. And then they rile the troops up. That's what happened in now. That's what happened in Buffalo, George Floyd, et cetera, et cetera. Exploited, exploited, exploited. But I'm not feeding the beast. Don't feed the beast. Don't feed it. Don't you feed it. I'm not saying don't be aware. All I'm saying is don't feed the beast. Don't feed the beast. Feed your family. Feed yourself. Feed your career. Feed your soul. Feed your mind. I look at these bites of energy we have throughout the day. How do we spend them? The, it takes nothing to create a tweet. It takes nothing to create a tweet. So the, the, those couple of bites of energy that it takes to create a tweet. Me as the magician, I'm carefully crafting my words. I can make a good spell or a bad spell. Why would I use my magic for bad when I can use it for good? We got to use our magic for good. We got to use our magic for good. He said, it's so hard not to feed the beast some real emotion vampires out there. Yes. And that's what they, they, they're depending on. That's exactly what they're depending on. It's hard. It's hard. The thing is, you have to remember what's most important in life. Once you remember what's most important in life, everything else fades away. That's why you got to spend tremendous amounts of time with family. Family keep you grounded. They keep you centered. They keep you in reality. You open up that phone. You have entered a new world. That's what people need. You need to understand that once you open up that phone. You are logging on like AOL. <laughs> The, the, the dial up modem, you are traveling into a new world. You are being uploaded into the metaverse once you pick up that phone and you enter social media. Your brain is a, in a new world. It's not in reality. You are now in a, 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 an amusement park for your mind. That's what this world is. This is an amusement park, but it's chaos. It's a chaotic amusement park. Like there's good things happening in this amusement park. Then there's like this evil side where like, it's just like, damn, why are they wilding over there? Okay. But it's an amusement park. Once you log off, you come back to reality. You got to spend more time outside of the matrix than you do inside the matrix to keep you grounded to keep you grounded in reality. You got to spend more time with family to keep you grounded in reality. What that does is it gives you power over the matrix. See, if you spend more time in the matrix than you do in reality, eventually it consumes you. You become consumed by the matrix. You become an agent Smith. You become an agent of the matrix. That's why you got to put the devices down. Kids don't even hang out no more. They hang out and then they sit next to each other playing on their phones. That's what they do. Everybody quiet. I got my phone. You got your phone. And then she got her phone. Right? So it's three of us. We sitting there. We all on our phones because we're each in our, in our own little world. And that is more satisfying than sitting here with all three of y'all. That's how sick the world got us. That when we hang out with friends, we're on our phones. I'm not that type of person. When I'm around people, my phone's away. It just feels weird to be on my phone while I'm around people. It, it, I don't know. Um, unless I'm doing something important, 
like a business or something like that. I'm around people. I'm really not on my phone like that. And the people that have hung out around, around me, they know. They know. I don't know. But this new generation was raised on the phone. See, I, we weren't raised on the phone. This new generation is raised on the phone. So it's, I feel even worse for them. They don't stand a chance. They were born in the matrix. Like, they were born with the matrix. You know, these 2000 babies, that's that 2K technology that these babies were born with the matrix, like installed. Because that device, that device hugged them early. And that's why they all can't. Um, Chad Lemoyne said, we doing digital detox at HotepCon. Unfortunately, I will not be participating in a digital detox at HotepCon because, well, it's a business event for me. <laughs> and I need digital devices to do business. <laughs> um, but you can do a digital detox with Donovan um, for hope.org. I hope I got that right. Hold on. Yeah, forthope.org. I got that right. Go and hit unplugged retreat. So that's forthope.org slash unplugged dash retreat. Um, yeah, really, really interesting um, situation here. Um, actually, I'll show it to you guys. This is a good time to. Um, I'll show this to you. Uh, okay, so log out of tech, log into nature. So this is basically a digital detox program for the family. You know what I mean, you do a whole bunch of white people stuff. It's like <laughs> tend the chickens, shoot some um some BBs, do some bow and arrow, pan for gold, good little activity, some gardening, feed the chickens. This is what people need. This is what you need. Put the phone down. And this is this is a beautiful um uh what they call it um property. Beautiful, beautiful God's country. There's good religious people here. Redwood Forest. This is out in California. This is beautiful. Yeah, y'all gotta check this out, man. They got a little fake jail. You know what I'm saying? For hope.org, hit unplug retreat. You see right there at the bottom or the menu at the top. But if you want to do a digital detox, there you go. For hope.org. Tell them Hotep Jesus sent you. They're good people over there. These are good people. In your base said uh, straight up positive message. Thank you. Disconnecting frequently is so necessary these days. Yes, you got to disconnect. Woo! That matrix will suck you in. That matrix will suck you in, man. It will suck you in. Don't let it suck you in. Don't let it suck you in. Spend time away from the phone. The phone is like um, venom. It's like venom from Spider-Man. That phone, it get on you and it just start crawling and it just, that's how I look at it. If you're not doing something productive on it, it's it becomes venom like as soon as you start bullshitting it just starts just comes out your phone and just you don't see it but it's hopping out your phone and it's just like slowly consuming you yes yes um so we have to use our phones for productive purposes Oh man. BitBoy, 9 p.m. Come back to the channel. We're going to talk to BitBoy. It's going to be a really great conversation. We can talk about money, inflation, food prices, gas prices, Biden, America, crypto, Bitcoin, uh, scams. Oh man, it's going to be lit. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Come back for that conversation. Uh, I'm going to get out of here, get that set up. Hotep and Bill, love y'all.